Hi, this is Shane Mata, and today we're going to talk about the service by Google called Google Sites. So let's start by saying that I use Google Sites for my own personal website at shanemata.com, and as you can see, you can have different, uh, we have the ability to create pages, kind of like a wiki, and it's very easy to use. So you can sign into your website through a link at the bottom of the page like that, sign in. And as you can see, it creates up here at the top links to other uh, information. So let me sign out again so just to show you the difference. So let's go to shanemata.com. There we go. So as you can see, there's nothing up here at the top. And once you sign in, it takes you to a login page. And... Voila. So then once you're into a Google site, it gives you the option to look at your Google Mail or your uh, your, your own personal email, which I've emptied out. Uh, you also have your chat there. It gives you a Google Calendar that you can use, and you can enter your own calendar here. The good thing about the Google Calendar is that it lets you send appointments or receive appointments from Microsoft Outlook. This is pretty useful in coordinating with other people who are not on Google Docs or Google applications. You also have Google Documents here and it gives you a it gives you use of the different features you have documents uh, which is word processing you have a PowerPoint type of presentation program you have a spreadsheet form is a, an attachment that goes into a spreadsheet to so that you can enter information into the spreadsheet it, it makes it very good for for data entry and for getting information from people outside of your uh, of your, your company and of course you can organize your information using folders and of course uh, Google also gives you plenty of templates from which to choose for creating uh, documents for for your own use and let me just open up here an untitled presentation so you have an idea of what it what one looks like as you can see it's almost the same thing as PowerPoint uh, a little bit more basic but it gives you the same ability to add photographs video and other information and uh, a spreadsheet same idea have uh, you have a more simplified version of all the formulas but it does give you the ability to do most of your business work online and that way you don't have to actually save uh, information on your hard drive you can save it to the web and then other pe people can collaborate with you and here's a word processing document just to show you uh, and they all have this feature where you can share with other people you send as an attachment or you can send it out as a uh, uh, a link to somebody and they can log in and look at the document and you can also give them permission to edit and so that's a very powerful thing. All the documents give you the ability to, to export as different types of documents, HTML, OpenOffice, PDF, text, Word. The spreadsheet gives you the ability to export as Excel. And of course, you can ex export here as PowerPoint for the uh, presentation software. OK, so we have talked about mail, calendar, documents. Sites is this service here that, that we're looking at. And Sites is pretty powerful in that it, it gives you the ability to edit pages, so you can just click on Edit, and it works just like a word processor. You can add photographs, you can add uh, text, you can add uh, links and other information. It's all controlled right here. So it's very easy to run a website, maintain it, and to customize it. And of course, it gives you the ability to do things like this. Put a, an image, your company logo at the top. You can choose to have this information up here, the company name or website name. The site sidebar here is customizable. And you can even have different types of pages. To create a new page, you just click on Create New Page. And then it gives you some options here of what kind of page you want to create and where you want to put it. So it's very, very straightforward and easy to use if you want to run your business uh, for, if you're a freelancer or if you have a, a business in which you don't really need a fancy website, but you do need a website. Uh, this is a very good service to use. And of course, uh, with Google Apps, you do have a contacts page, and you can see how you, it gives you the ability to keep track of information. Uh, so you can actually create 
see here a list of, of uh, contacts and you, you can add email addresses, remove them, phone numbers, addresses, and even additional information that uh, you'd like to add, customize. So Google Documents or Google Apps actually gives you quite a range of abilities. Uh, these are a lot of things that you would normally pay thousands of dollars to purchase a server with including with the server software and even having to throw in some uh, what would you call it, uh, uh, other software on top of the server to, to make it do all of these things. And on top of that, you would need to pay uh, somebody to, every once in a while, uh, maintain the service for, or maintain the equipment for you, do any changes. Uh, it's not something that most office people are prepared to do, but Google Apps makes it so much easier for you to do all of these things. And so to get it, uh, you can call somebody like me to set it up for you, or you can just go to www.google.com slash a and you can find out more about it uh, the service is free for up to 50 people and it gives you under the free service you get you get seven gigabytes of storage per user you can get uh, the website you get all these other features along with well actually here it is it, you get 99 percent uptime reliability more storage email uh, inst instant messaging, information and security. I mean, it gives you a whole lot for free. And even if you, this is a standard edition that I use. So you have email, calendar, docs, sites, and uh, a lot of other things. And if you want to go Premiere, then it gives you a whole lot more, which is, uh, once you go Premiere though, it's $50 per user per year. And so that, that actually is a pretty good savings because you would spend more than that on software, on uh, maintenance and uh, troubleshooting, whereas if if you go with Google Apps, you basically eliminate or reduce the need for uh, technical assistance or a computer technician to come and fix things because they, they've they've broken. Uh, everything runs on the web, so really all you need is a web browser to run your entire office and your website. So the great thing about Google Apps that I like is that it, it can tie together a, a whole domain for you. So you can create shanemata.com. I also created demo.shanemata.com as a corporate internet demo demonstration. As you can see, you can create different departments. And this would be, a, you can set this up as a private website. Here it's set up as a public website, but you can set it up as private. For example, uh, let's see here, a workspace. This is my own private workspace that I use, and as you can see, you can, well actually you can't see it here, but this can be made a private site. Here, let me log out and go back in. So it was workspace.shanemata.com, right? And as you see, it requires you to log in. So then you have to log in to be able to access that page. Voila. And same thing as before. So uh, as you can see, it, it simplifies a lot of uh, information that you would need. Now, earlier I told you about the forms. And I want to show you here in the accounting page. I have a form set up for mileage where you can simply just enter the date, destination, starting miles, and ending miles. And that way I can keep up my mileage log as I go. It submits it and sends it into a spreadsheet in within Google Documents and it simplifies. So embedding things like this is very easy within Google Docs and I would recommend you give it a shot, give it a try if, uh, if you do decide to go for it. Now if you want to contact me to help you set up your Google Apps, simply go to shanemata.com or you can send, uh, call me at 956-205-0706 or drop me an email, shane at shanemata.com, and I'd be glad to help you set it up. It's it's very very easy to run, and it the cost savings is significant. And even if you do decide to go with the Premier Edition, which gives you 25 gigabytes of storage, or email storage per user, it, that's still quite a bargain. Uh, and you think about it over the year, because you would have saved more than that uh, in, in administrative costs. All right, thanks for listening. We'll talk to you again soon.